it is. Oh, hi, doctor. Um, did you get the results of my examination yet? Oh, no. You saw the test results yourself? Uh, when? In six months? Well, yeah, this is a little bit of a shock. I wasn't quite expecting this. Roger! What's the big idea, Carol? Roger, we've got big troubles, and I mean big troubles. What are we going to do? About what? About my baby sister. Carol, would you just take it easy and tell me exactly what's wrong? She's pregnant! <laughs> what? She's pregnant. I just heard her telling the talking to the doctor on the telephone. That's ridiculous. How can Christy be pregnant? She's not even married. <laughs> Just settle down, will you? I'm, I'm sure somebody just made a mistake. <laughs> You're telling me? Oh, Roger, she's so young. This will ruin her life. Honey, she's not that young. Chrissy is a big girl. Oh, you think she's big now? Wait six months. <laughs> Roger, what are we going to do? Well, first of all, if it's true, I, I think we ought to give her a chance to explain how it happened. You sicky. I didn't mean that. Yeah, I know, Marsha. I was just so sure I was going to pass that exam. Yeah, now I've got to wait six whole months before I can take the darn thing over again. Yeah, well, listen, don't say anything to this about this to Carol, will you? Because I want to wait till I'm accepted to the nursing school before I mention it to her, all right? Okay, bye-bye. Hi, Chris. Hi, Roger. Who was that on the phone just now? Oh, just a friend. How do you feel, Chris? I feel fine. How do you feel, Roger? Oh, terrific. <laughs> How do you feel, Carol? Fine. <laughs> Well, now that we've got our health reports out of the way, you want to talk about the weather? Okay. Say, uh, hasn't rained in about, uh, oh, nine months. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, gosh, I didn't realize it was so late. I better hurry. Dave's going to pick me up at seven. Wait a minute, where are you going? Oh, I thought we'd try dancing for a change. <laughs> <laughs> I might have known it was Dave. Who's Dave? Dave, he's her new boyfriend. She's been seeing a whole lot of him lately. You're telling me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what does this guy look like? I don't know. Every time he comes to pick her up, he just sits out in his car and honks his horn. <laughs> Carol, I still don't believe this whole thing. Roger, I am telling you, I heard it with my own ears. Well, why don't you ask her? Me? I can't ask my little baby sister a thing like that. All right. I'm the man of the house. I'll handle this. Chrissy! What is it, Roger? <clears throat> Your sister wants to talk to you. What is the matter with him? How come he's acting so weird? Um, come on, honey, let's let's sit down on the couch and and wrap. Well, Carol, I really only have a minute to wrap because Dave will be here, you know. Oh, you uh, you think quite a lot about Dave, don't you? Yeah, he's a great guy. I'll bring him in tonight so you guys can meet him. Yeah. I... I'd like that. Uh, after all, I wouldn't want to go through life having a car horn for a brother-in-law. A brother-in-law? What are you talking about? We well, are going to marry Dave, aren't you? Marry Dave? Why would I want to do a thing like that? And he's not the one? Well, he's a great guy, Carol, but I wouldn't want to be stuck with him for the rest of my life. Well, then who? Well, at this point, I really don't know, Carol. It could be Tommy or Stanley or Ron. Roger! <laughs> What's going on here? Griffin, Griffin. <laughs> Your sister and I know all about it. Well, that's terrific. That makes two out of three. Now, you want to let me in on it? Uh, well, you have to let me in on it later. That's Dave. I don't believe it. I don't understand this generation. She doesn't even seem the least bit concerned. But I'm sure of one thing. It's definitely Dave. How do you know? One honk from him and she goes to pieces. <laughs> 
Oh, what do you know? Old Dave finally found his way to the door. Hey, where are you going? In the kitchen. I know if I see that guy, I'll punch him right in the nose. I guess you're right. I don't feel like facing him myself. Hello. Hi. I'm Father McRae. Oh, please come in. Thank I'm you. Glad to meet you. Thank you. Are uh, you uh, Mrs. Bradford? Oh, no, I'm her sister, Chris. Ah, well, I've just joined the parish at St. Francis, and I thought I'd like to meet some of my new neighbors. Oh, great. Carol, Roger, you want to come out here? Carol, Roger, say hello to the new father. Hello! 